If you watch my videos, you'll know that I'm totally against sealing up terrariums for long periods of time and I believe the term self-sustaining ecosystem is misleading. In this video, I want to put my previous claims to the test, so I'm going to create a terrarium that once planted is going to be sealed up forever. I want to see just how self-sustaining a terrarium can actually be. For the best plant and terrarium advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video every Thursday. So what does a terrarium actually need to be self-sustaining? So in my head, starting with large glassware, it's going to give it the best chance of long-term survival. It's going to give the plants more space to grow into and it will enable me to add more substrate so the roots will be healthier. I'm going to add microfauna in the form of springtails because they're going to help to process any decaying matter and will help fertilize the plants a small amount too. Because I'm not going to open the terrarium again once that cork goes in, that means I'm not going to be able to feed the springtails. So I'm going to add a layer of leaf litter which will slowly decompose over time and give the springtails something to feed on. It's going to have to be positioned somewhere where it's going to get a good amount of light. I think I'm going to buy a desk lamp and put a warm white bulb in there purely for this terrarium. Plant choice is going to be centered around low maintenance, slow growing plants that are easy to care for. I'm also going to incorporate all the layers that generic terrarium guides say you need and I'm going to water it once. It's going to have the initial watering, the cork's going to go in and then that's it, I'm not removing that cork again, no matter what. So I'm actually quite excited to see how this is going to turn out and no matter what happens to the terrarium I'm going to do a follow-up video or maybe two or three depending on how successful it is. 